2015 GMC Yukon with the other replacement. Only do this on the cool engine. So let's start by removing our cooling reservoir cap on the side. And we're going to loosen the air box, this 8mm, 8mm over there, and take our PCV hole on this step down and remove it. Same thing on the driver's side. There it is. Let's loosen the air intake. And same thing down here too. Good. Now let's pull it. There it is. So we're going to remove this cover here. We're going to start by removing the push pins. There it is. Here it is. We're going to remove all of them pretty much. All the one to front end. There it is. Now we're gonna remove this bar here. It's 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. There it is. Now let's get the airbox out of the way. Let's unplug our mass effluent mass effl sensor first. There it is. And remove this out of the way. And pull the airbox top up like this. There it is. Now we're going to put the truck up in the air so we can drain the coolant. I'm going to try to access it from this side here, on the passenger side front. We're going to remove the lower radiator hose so you can drain. So we got the passenger front side tie off. We're going to remove those 7mm here, right? So we can pull the wheel liner off. You don't have to remove it all the way. Just this side, we're gonna get it off, okay? Just the front part, okay? Let's go. So, we're gonna go underneath it so we can remove two 10 millimeter at the bottom. Do two, let's do it. The next step is, is remove this black cover here. Let's take out this 30 millimeter. There you go, this truck is pretty old, so this thing ended up breaking. I'm gonna replace it, but it's fine. It's out of the way. Well, now there are two ways you can go about this. Either you remove the lower with the other holes if you wanna drain this faster, or you get access with a pickup on the side here. It will take forever to drain. So I want this thing, I'm trying not to get this job out of here quick, so I'm going to just to drain it through the lower with the other holes, okay? And we're gonna use this lovely tool here. We're going to remove the whole clamp with this. All right. I'll put the link in the comment section below in case you guys want to purchase this tool. It's awesome. So, bad news. The whole clamp stopped, so I'm gonna have to replace it. There you go. Mm, there you go. It's done. I'm gonna use this big container here and put it underneath the car so you can drain it. All right. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna twist it. There it is, it's coming down. And I still made the vehicle down. There it is, same thing over here. Just put them on the side like this. Good. Same thing on this side. Now what we're gonna do is pop the engine oil cooler line from the from the fan shroud assembly using a tool like this or you can use a flap disc screwdriver. Let's pop it off. Good. And do the same thing with the with the other hose. Perfect. And there is one on this side here. Good. 
And we're gonna do the same thing with the cooling fan. Let's move the connector out of the way. Same thing over here. You know those connectors, they have this tab here you need to remove. You push them down that way. And you push it, there it is. That's what you do. You push it out, you can use the screwdriver maybe. Push it out that way and push this tab down and remove it. Same thing on that side. Perfect. And we need to pop this transmission cooler line of um of the fin shroud. Anything? Our cooling fan ready to come out. You need to work your way out because there is he's, he's held by two tab at the bottom and both on top. So you're going to pick it up. Ready to come out. Well, before we do anything, we need to remove our oil engine oil cooler line on both sides and the transmission cooler line on the other side. Let's do this off. There is my big one. Oh, that's nice. Here it is. Let's push this black tab out. Stick them here, and we're going to remove the C clip here so you can pop the cooler line out. So, we're gonna use a pick like this so you can remove the C clip. Right, let's put it loose. Here is the C clip. We gotta do the same thing at the bottom. Let's go to the side. So what we're gonna do now, we're going to wiggle the engine oil cooler line out. There it is. We gotta do the same thing at the bottom. Okay? So you can get them out of the way. As you guys see, sneaking oil engine oil out from the cooler. It's loose. So here is our cooling fan. You're gonna have to remove it to the passenger side since you have the oil cooler line off and it'll be easy, alright? And there is a transmission cooler um, push pin at the bottom of the fan. Remember to remove it on that side, alright? It's good. So what we're gonna do now is remove the transmission cooler line here, alright? Both of them from the radiator. You have the same C clip as the engine oil cooler but a lot smaller. So let's remove them. We're going to pop this black tab off, same thing at the bottom. Here it is. Gonna use the pick to pop them off. Okay. Oh, I lost it. It's fine, I got a lot of them. The same thing at the bottom. It'll be better if you replace them, by the way, because. They're old. There it is. All right, let's go. We'll pull it out. Good. Right. Now let's remove the upper with you the hose. All right. We're going to open this spring. All right. There it is. Perfect. Alright, uh, now we, what we're gonna do is remove this whole stamp, lose this whole stamp here. Alright, here it is. You're on the side like this. Now we're going to pop the transmission line off of here, so. And we're gonna remove those two 30 millimeter on each side so you can loosen the radio there, alright? Perfect. Perfect. 
There is a 10 millimeter bolt that holds the AC condenser in the line in place to the radiator. We need to remove it, it fits that way. I don't know if you guys can see the head. As you guys see here is the 10 millimeter bolt. We need to remove that to get the bracket off of the radiator assembly. All right. And after this, and this thing is ready to come out pretty much. It's pretty loose. As you guys see, I'm removing the 10 millimeter that hold the bracket in place. Let's go. So what we're gonna do now is take this cover that covered the radiator and the AC condenser. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna separate the AC condenser from the radiator, okay? And to do that, we're going to, yeah, we need to push with the screwdriver. This thing here, push it in, and while you have, while you're putting the AC condenser out of that bracket, okay? You're gonna do that on both sides. As you see here, the AC condenser is loose. It's loose. All you do once again is you push this tab in and pick up the condenser on both sides. All right. We're gonna leave the condenser in the car. Actually, the truck has come. We're not taking it off all the way. We're just separating it from the radiator. Okay. That one's good. Same thing on this side. It's loose. Perfect. The only thing we have left to do is remove. The C clip that hold the condenser in place. Alright. The same thing. Alright. And we're going to wiggle out the, this this um transmission line out. Alright. There it is. A very short line. It's good. Alright, so we did this loose. There it is. As you guys see here, you, uh, the condenser is still in the truck. Okay. So we're going to put the new with you there. And before we do that, we're going to have to transfer the old parts, the old piece to the new radiator. And we'll be good to go, guys. All right. So here's our old radiator. Here is a new one. We're going to transfer um, the rubber, the grommet here, right, from the old one. There it is. This one. And we'll put the other grommet in. Perfect. And now you ready to ready to go back in, just like that. Make sure when you put the radio there, and make sure those rubber grommet here on both sides line, line up with this hole down here. All right. And same thing on the other side. Make sure they line up. And the middle part of the radiator will sit in those grooves here, okay? If not, you're gonna have a hard time putting it in the truck, alright? As you guys see down here, I got both of them lined up with the hole, the frame. Same thing on the other side. And now we're going to sit our AC condenser to those grooves over there. To this here. Same thing on the other side. And this one's it. Alright? Let's do it. As you can see, yeah, I got the AC compressor, condenser, and the radiator back together, um, perfectly seated. So we're going to put our AC compressor, um, AC condenser bracket on down there. You guys see it? It's a 10 millimeter. We're going to put it back on and work our way up. So our next step is to put our cooling fan back on, and um, and we can put all the lines back in. As you guys see here, the condenser, the, comp the radio that come with everything new, new, new C clips, new fittings, and um, all I gotta do is just uh, put it, everything back and I don't have to put anything separate. Um, the other thing too is that if you buy an aftermarket, you're gonna have to be worried about those things. Make sure you buy those things separate. You, there will be chance that they might not come. So you have to buy them separate. So this one, in my case, come with new C clips. All I gotta do is just put the lines back on. But first, we have to put our cooling fan on and go from there. Alright. As you guys see here, our cooling fan is fully seated. It's slide at the um, the bracket at the bottom on both sides, and we're going to put our bolt in. It's two 10 millimeter on each side. Okay. 
Now let's remove the cap from um, the old, the new radiator or all of them so we can put the lines in, okay? Now we're going to put our C clip and the connection. Okay, I got the new C clip on now, so what we're gonna do is put our line in, okay? Make sure you do this side out, out this at the outside one first before you do the other side, okay? As you can see here, I got the new, I got the old line in on both sides. Now we need to push this cover back up. The black cover. Okay. And push it over it. Alright. Cover is back on. We got to do the same thing on the other side. We need to put our cover up on um on the condenser and the radiator that hold them together. Let's put them on. Is the piece here? You clip on both sides of the pulling fan. Here it is. Gonna hit. Gonna hit it. You can see here it's lined up here. Perfect. Here it is. Perfect. Fully seated. So now this assembly is ready to be bolt on to the body. It's two 30 millimeter, one on this side, one on the other, and they're ready to go. Alright. Here it is. Good. Perfect. Now we're gonna use, we're gonna put this hose back in the radiator. Alright. We're gonna have to compress this so we can go through the end. There it is. It's fully seated. So now we're gonna put the upper radiator hose in. I'm gonna push, compress the clamp and put it all the way in. Alright, I'll open with you the whole thing. Now let's line up this one here and here. Do the same thing over here. Perfect. Now let's put our engine oil cooler line back in. You already have the stick lift, so you gotta do it just push it and make sure you engage like so. Good, we do the same thing at the bottom. Alright, our engine oil cooler line is in. The mission cooler engine cooler line is um, clipped on the fin shroud. We'll do the same thing on the fin here. Alright, let's plug our cooling fin back in. There it is. And you push this up down. Perfect. Same thing on the other side. Alright, everything back in place. I will place on the hose clip at the bottom. Alright, on the hose back. And on the radiator. All I gotta do now is just um, fill up the cooling system. But first, um, this thing that the thermostat stock open, I'm going to replace it too. I have a separate video on how to replace it. I'll post the link in the comment section below for that. And besides that, you just fill up the cooling system and bleed it. And that's about it, guys. Everything is plugged in. All, all cooling fans plugged in and secure. All the push pins are back in place. And that's it. Now that I have the thermostat back and everything is back in place, we're gonna put the air box in. The air box. Make sure those things line up with those holes down there and push it down. And we're going to put our air box back in. All right. So now I got everything back in place. The truck is uh, filled with on it. We're about to let it run about 20 to 30 minutes with the cap off so we can bleed the system. All right, let's do this. And we're going to start the vehicle. All right. Pay attention to our cooling gauge. All right, and put it on full heat. Okay, there you go. And turn off the AC and let it run. And pay attention to your cooling temperature. Uh, your picture, picture should be in the middle. If it's past that, 
you're gonna have to shut the vehicle off and fill up the cooling system make sure you top off the bottle while you're doing this also but um, if everything goes well follow my instruction you should be good all right guys and if you guys want in detail video on how to bleed it i'll post it in the comment section below that's it guys thanks for watching see you on the next one well vehicles all set now our cooling system is bled and um put the cap back on clean everything up and start for a test drive The temperature is up. I got heat in the cabin now. That's one of the signs that the cooling system is blood. You got heat in the cabin. And now we're going to check if we have any codes. Since I have a lot of things unplugged, I have quite a few codes here. They all passing fail, meaning everything is good now. I'm going to clear them and go for a test drive. Here it is, I'm 169 degrees. So let's go.